Just made one cast. Awesome. And I caught my first ever muskie right here. Awesome. First ever muskie in my life right there. Now you can do all you want now that he's had some bread. But Fish. Look at that right there. Look at that. There he goes. Hey, Joe, about how many times a week do you typically, uh, like, row, like, on trips? Um, okay, so, out of 22 days. 20 out of 22 days. Yeah. Wow. Which is not what I prefer, but it's super, super busy. Now, you know how to fish your whopper bumper, but I gotta still be a guide and tell you my advice, and you may already know this. They gotta slow down. Well, no, uh, the speed's good, but when the fish eats, don't set the hook. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You see that the bait's under one. Well, my general rule of thumb is I don't like to set the hook till I feel him. Yeah. There you go. Because I'm, I've missed too many fish. Yeah. I've missed all. I can't tell you how many fish I've missed, especially in ponds. Um, river fish, in my opinion, seems to be a little bit better about eating it pretty quick. But I've missed too many fish in ponds and lakes. Well, if you keep it reeling, they'll swing out four times. You know, boosh. They miss oh, boosh. They miss boosh. But yeah. If you angler to set the hook the first time they eat it, and then they jerk the lure, comes flying by the boat, and it's game over. That's true, yeah. That's what I tell people. So you got to resist the hook's known to man. Yeah. Fury, you're right about one thing. That, uh, that 75 sure does throw off a lot more water. A couple guys up by the dam. Holy cow! I don't know. He ain't gonna go 20, but No, he ain't gonna go 20. That's that ain't a bad one. Would you mind getting the hooks out of I tell you what, I take them like that all day. Hey, I did it right that time. I let him I let him have it that time. I might have to keep with that plopper. Gosh, that's a gorgeous fish. He probably go what 17 maybe. Yeah. It might. I tell you what, I thought that fish was a lot bigger when I seen him coming through the water. He's, he's so big, he's very much bigger. I hold it straight up and down. Okay. Yeah. Eighteen. 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 Eighteen inches. I'm, I'm almost there. Two more inches and I'll be there. <laughs> Go and get this big, big thing back. God bless you. Yeah, I got the little 75. You might have to start having them for your guide trips. I know. I just, I don't even see them. I, um, I got mine from Academy. That's a mistake I made when I was up in Radford. One of, one of those fish, I just kind of le leaned back on a little bit, didn't really set the hook, and he jumped up and spit my lure at me. Ever since I always try to get a nice, strong set on one now. Those fish are free. <laughs> That's true. All right, so we have, I'm trying to do this without falling. We have just got here on the rocks here. I'm gonna eat some lunch, and so far, I think I've caught three four smallmouth one musky that's in a different category though um buddy there fishing greer he has caught three smallmouth i think um he's caught one subsurface i've caught one subsurface and all the rest of them have been on a whopper plopper on top but yeah we're gonna try and get us some lunch and keep fishing getting some more water and yeah hopefully keep having a good day This is, I think it's gonna be an incredible day here. I've, I've already caught what might be the fish of a lifetime today and catch us some smallmouth to go along with it. That one was about 18 inch smallmouth, really nice fish. I appreciate it, bud. Mm -hmm. Walk over here and sit down with you, girl. No, I am speechless about that first catch though. I mean, I'm, 
I would never even thought somebody like me. I mean, I don't get really even fish the New River that much. For some reason, I had to I had the dream of catching a muskie. I keep looking at you. I thought you were hung up. Anybody want snickers? Uh, yeah, I'm, but I'm good too for now. Alright, so here's what we're about to do. We're about to get into a rapid and theoretically be in water similar to that for the rest of the day. Uh-huh. Probably do more stopping, anchoring up so you can really penetrate holes. Um, you guys are the kind of guys that have a lot of your own baits. If you didn't, what I would be putting on would be gloves or jig heads, maybe even a quarter ounce jig head as opposed to an eighth ounce. So like that swim bait you have here that's heavy. Think about something heavy that's going to get down Cinco, let them really sink. Get where that fish is, you know, in these little holes with the bubbles and stuff. And and you can I mean, occasionally throw that walker flopper, there'll be places it'll be obvious, but more will be subsurface type fishing. Put this back in the dry bag. Which one you want first? It doesn't matter. Oh. Oh. Let me go and hop in here on the front. Yeah. Okay. I don't believe you need to net them. Yep. Yeah, we go in the right direction. Heck yeah, that's, that's two fish and two or three casts. I leaped on it, yeah. Oh, another double. <laughs> they, dude, they're, they must be stacked in that hole right there. Here, I'm gonna get this on film, Greg. <laughs> Look at there. Raise, raise, him, raise him up on my GoPro there. That's three doubles so far. God bless you, boy. Yeah, man, as soon as I picked that grub up, he was on it in the hole. Yep. Not a monster, but I'll take him. He thinks he is. Got that one. That guy, whoops. Sorry about that. Got that whole fish catch on video. Oh, good. Yeah, I got. I finally got setting the hook on one. A little nice. That one really don't have any black lines on him. See, he's just all brown. Huh? I don't see a red light on Oh, I, I got it switched because I use this for hunting. Um, I just, the red light only blinks on the backside. Yeah, that was an adjustment I made on my camera because turkey walks up to it. I don't want him to see nothing blinking. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the size of it. Dude, that, I think it might have been the one I seen swim off that I spooked. Gosh, I'm shaking. <sighs> Is that not a chunk? There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's 19. 19. 19. Look how fat he is. Uh, let's get a girth on him. Okay. Almost 11, 11 and a half. Almost 12. That's here. I'm gonna get. Some, you mind if I get some pictures of my main camera? Here. Out here. Wait. So we stopped right here and. Uh, we're just gonna fish along these rocks and everything. Fishing along here, you caught one more other fish out of here, and I just hooked this. This chunk of a smallmouth bass right there. This fish was trying to break me off underneath these rocks. I, you can see I skipped my knee up, trying to lay down, keep my rod up underneath the rock cliff, trying to keep that fish from breaking me off. <laughs> Look at that. Would you, can you get here with a picture of me, man? I'm dedication, baby. Look at that. 19 inch fish right here. Look at that. Not going to 
I'm gonna let him just tire out for a minute. Hey, it might be easier. You mind? I don't mind at all. I appreciate it. Nice little chunk. I thought he was a lot bigger now when I seen him come up in that pool. Still a nice one though. Always fun. God bless you, buddy. Man, I tell you what. The thing about the New River is uh, every one of these fish just are completely healthy. I mean, you just they all just feeding well. I mean, this is like an incredible spot. I ain't never seen nowhere like this on the Yakin, New River, anywhere. This is, this is really gorgeous. Pretty girl. Oh, bouncing off a rock. Oh, baby. Okay. There we go. That's a good time. I knew I was gonna get one off that right off that rock wall. Off Greer's wall right there. Yep. <laughs> yep. Nice little yeah. chunk. Super bad potty ring. I don't want to throw him right there, it's too shallow. Yeah. God bless you, buddy. Nice little small mouth. Nice healthy fish. Yeah, he come right off. I was crawling it right away from that wall and he picked it up and I did exactly what you said, just hold the rod tip high and he went do 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 do. Yeah, you can feel it. You can feel it. Just for grins and giggles. I might throw a fluke over there to see what happens. Big fish catcher. I hope it is. So I embed that hook a little bit? No, I, I like it here. I like it out. Okay. There's only, there's only one reason to stick it to skin hook it. Uh huh. And that's to keep from getting hung up. Screw that, it's my bait. Lose it if you got to, but if you skin hook it, you got a chance of missing the fish. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. I also I also noticed you didn't tie a traditional knot, you tied a loop knot. Uh-huh. Like whether you throw a plopper or buzz bait or you know, one of them other kinds of little stick baits, whatever. Or even a popper, like a regular popper. Got him. Fish on. Fish on. Plopper. Yeah, he didn't. Uh, finally, he didn't miss that one. What's well, it? Look how dark that fish is. He's a chunky one. A chunky monkey. Chunky monkey. Look at that. Oh god. Perfect. Look at it. Two two prongs through the nose. God bless you, bud. Pretty fish. Gonna pretty much wrap up the day guys incredible day out here on the water thank you so much 